and then it wouldn't start again. And of course it's in the most impossible place, like it's down from there. Good morning. <laughs> so today the rain is back. We had two dry days and now it's back. But our moods are much better. You'll probably have seen over the last few weeks that our moods were not the greatest. And that was because our digger has been stuck up the hill. Um, it stopped working. We tried to fix it. But so far nothing has worked. And it doesn't really help that it's stuck halfway up the hill. Where we don't have any a way of keeping it dry other than a tarp. So to lift our spirit and to kind of see some more progress again, we have we have asked our good friend Frank the Dinger to come over. You might recognize him from some other Portuguese channels here in the area. He's come to help us. Uh, the plan for today is to for him to pull down our digger with his digger and our digger is actually his old digger <laughs> so that's the f plan for today is to just get the digger down um, to where our yurt is and where we have all the tools and things and then but in order to do that he first needed to make a path because yeah we need some more room and then he's also going to help us start digging more for the foundation for our house just so that we can see some more progress there and so that we can um, possibly start doing some things by hand that we would rather do with the digger but that we can also do by hand um so yeah that's the plan for today and for the tomorrow Ga je helpen? Ja, we gaan naar boven lopen, hè? So this is where that big mount used to be, it's now completely flat and now he's gonna start digging a little bit deeper to see how deep we can go.
even the tender hand of Frank the Digger couldn't get our digger started. So now the next step is to attach it to his digger and pull it as far as we can, hopefully all the way down the hill. Okay, new strategy, push with the digger, <laughs> pull with the car. And of course, I missed this moment supreme because I was putting Bo down for a nap, but we, they got it up the hill. After a few small hiccups, we were finally on the road, down the hill, and it was really smooth sailing from there.
So this next part is a little bit tricky because it's a very sharp turn and Frank can't just pull it in a straight line. So we took the strap off and then he slowly but surely moved it around the corner and then we were on our way. Ik ben in ieder geval mijn SD-kaart bijna helemaal vol. Frank, the hero to help us here. We're just around the corner, that means we're over halfway. So, uh, and this should be the easier part because this is the, the, uh, the bit with all the springs. So it has a lot of water on it, so it should just slide over it. And uh, it's all the way down. So, really happy. Um, we tried starting it here on the corner just as a gaff, but it, uh, of course it wouldn't. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, Happy days. So apparently these straps for Maxmat are supposed to handle five ton, but they couldn't even pull a digger. <laughs>
even though the digger is still not working it is a really big relief that it's now down the hill on a way easier spot to work on it here we can really put a nice tarp over it so that we can work on it while it's raining we don't have to haul the tools up so thank you frank so much and for the rest of his digging work you'll have to come back after the break I just went to our smaller well to get um, our small solar generator back. Um, <laughs> this is actually how, still how we pump water at the moment. Uh, we do have a bigger one, but that takes more power. And because it's been raining, it takes a little bit too much power. Plus this is about as easy um, as the other setup. It just takes a little bit longer, so I'll walk there, put it down, put on a timer for two hours, and then the tank is full again. So, if you're debating what should I do, just get a small solar generator, a 12 volt pump. They're like 100, 120, the one that we have, and uh, you're all good to go. No need for fancy big pumps, really, just the bigger one pumps faster. but. This is cheaper and just as easy. So, little tip of the day. Now it's time to get to the garden and finally do some planting because it's sunny. And although not in the garden anymore, but uh, yeah, let's go do that. I'll put the little solar panel back with the battery so that I can charge fully again. Time has a very much snuck up on me and as you can see it's already kind of late in the day what I want to do for now is just start a couple things just put some things into sea trays so that we can have um, some more food grown in the garden towards spring so that we can start to have less gaps in vegetables that we can eat from the garden because right now we have lots of broccoli going um, but not much else from the garden because things are just starting like the favas are doing great in here and we have some 
um, curly kales and that kind of thing, but they're all still growing. So just so that we have some food in spring as well, I want to do some more continuous planting. This chicory is starting to look very good and big enough to eat. Um, but as you can see, this curly kale still needs a little bit of time. As does this one, um, I clearly need to do a little bit of weeding because the chickweed is very happy here. Uh, but the favas are very happy. So that should also give us lots of food in spring. Oh, I will start some calendula. Some turnips. Oh, do that more neat bow. And some New Zealand spinach, which is a perennial spinach that I can put in the perennial bed. At the moment, I am listening to a podcast called Nay, okay. Behind the Bastards, which is one of my favorites. They have really good episodes on people you should know about and what's behind them. One of my favorite ones was a, an older one on Rudolf Steiner, which is a, a very popular figure in holistic wellness kind of circles um but he has an, <laughs> an interesting past to say the least so uh yeah go check it out i highly recommend <sighs> martin has gone to pick up book from school Usually, if you're wondering, hey, where's Puck? She's at school. I'm not going to mention it every video. She's usually just in school or uh, during the holidays. Um, so with New Year's and in the summer. They also do like a vacation program where it's... Uh, and not with the professora, but with just um, the assistants and stuff. Um, so that's where she, where she's at now and we do send her there for a few days a week just because she really likes it there and it's good for us uh, to have one less child to worry about right now i am going to the garden to get a broccoli a head of broccoli because we have a lot we have a lot of broccoli, so we've already had, I don't know, a lot of heads over the last few weeks. We had some for Christmas, and they're going strong. So as you can see here, I cut one off here, but you can just leave them in, because then they start forming tiny, little broccoli heads so then you have a second serving of broccoli i think it's very much time for these to be eaten i think once they start spreading out like this a little bit it's kind of a sign that they want to start flowering 
now that they're finished. So I'm gonna gonna take the biggest one. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Pretty nice, pretty good. It's gonna go into our pasta sauce for the evening, which I'm not gonna film because it's gonna be dark. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Papa komt van die kant. Over the last few weeks, some of you have been commenting, where's your husband? Where did Martin go? What's he doing? <laughs> I've been hiding away from everyone. That's what I've been doing. No, um, I, I've been really, well, stressed, disappointed about the weather and combined with the broken digger. Um, and uh, we can't really work on it because it's on up the hill and it's raining every, every now and then or every day or every other day um, and this is the beginnings of like a, a workshop uh, these are all the pallets that are on the other side of the valley um, for the the the, the a-frame building that i never finished because it's too far away so uh, i can't watch the kids and build on it or well it's just a logistical issue uh, so over the last few weeks i've been thinking of ways we can make this happen quicker uh, so I counted up all the, the pallets, made a form, put them all on rocks, solid as a rock. Um, people will hate me for it because everyone is used to, uh, to uh, pouring concrete floor, for, footings and whatever. But um, it's not necessary. Everything is very compacted here. And the stones will be able to carry more load than uh, just uh, cement blocks or anything. So this is fine. Uh, but it takes longer so uh, this took a while and um, the next step is to put uh, some bracing on these so they will connect both pallets on the inside making sort of a box beam out of these um, which is apparently very solid and it doesn't or it takes away the need for putting posts in everywhere. I will still have to put posts near the door as a door frame and uh, possibly to, to um, prop up the, the main beam for the, for the wall because it will land in the middle of the wall and the middle of the wall is also the weakest point because the corners are of course the, the strongest with these pallet, build, pallet buildings. To be built for, for the duck. For the roof, yeah, to yeah. keep up the roof. Yeah, yeah, it's mainly you for the roof. Wall. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, well, to, to support the wall in keeping up the roof. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, and of course, uh, another reason why I want this workshop is not just for this digger, but let's move there with the movie editing magic. Uh, so the other thing that kept me occupied over the last few months, maybe, uh, yeah, I got it for my birthday slash Christmas. So uh, thank you, parents. Uh, but we have a new set of wheels um, and uh, new to us. It's uh, uh, from, from 88 or 87, I think, or so, as old as I am. So good stuff. Um, and it's a Mitsubishi Pajero um, four-wheel drive deluxe version so it has leather <laughs> leather seating and uh, a beautiful uh, wooden or uh, yeah wooden steering wheel that's a few of the, the indications that this is the deluxe version it also has automatic diff locks on the front uh, which is great. It comes in a great two-tone color of gray and mud uh, and it 
is always muddy because uh, we've had rain over the past two years and three springs on our access road, which we found out uh, during this uh, winter. Um, so uh, yeah, it gets very muddy, but it can deal with it very well. Um, we've tried to get it stuck uh, with neighbor Nathan uh, because we were a bit down and we needed to pick me up. And this is the way we do it now, is just go for a ride in the 4x4. Um, yeah, we haven't been able to get stuck. There were like big rocks in the middle of the road washed out from the rain. We could easily maneuver around it. And uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, the other reason why we needed a 4x4 in a different car than the van is that I want to be able to uh, tow things. And um, this one is able to, uh, yeah, it has a tow bar on it so we can add uh, a trailer and possibly also move the digger by ourselves and not have this logis logistical nightmare of getting people to show up on time or at a certain time. And uh, it stresses me out for weeks if I take on a job. So it's uh, better for my well-being. I was very disappointed when I first got this car uh, because uh, both my kids didn't like it. Uh, they thought it was stupid and then I took them for a ride. Uh, in the back because uh, there are two seats in the back which comfortable uh, comfortably seat these two kids um, and they are just positioned a little bit towards uh, the middle so they can look past our uh, heads and see where we're going and they love riding through big puddles of mud and uh, so if they start fighting and Leia needs her time on herself, then I can also pick their moods up by taking them for a ride. Uh, and I think she might now be the coolest uh, kid in the school because she shows up in this car every morning. So, so these sunflowers, <laughs> these came up from seeds that just dropped when we took the sunflowers in the summer down. But since we haven't had any frost, they just grew and grew and we might have some frost next week, maybe in January, but who knows um, but it's really nice to have some sunflowers in December and I can see some bees on there as well so that's really nice okay for now I want to plant some garlic that sprouted in my cupboard <laughs> and some onions so these are old onions that as you can see started sprouting as well and then a long while back I looked up on YouTube what you can do with them and you can just plant them and then they make really nice flowers in the spring or later, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna plant them at the end of a bed and then we can have some nice flowers.
done. So that's about as tidy as things can get with a toddler in the house. Um, it's been really nice to have um, a radio again uh, with a CD player, just so that I can play some of the CDs that we saved from when I was younger. Because <laughs> I'm not old yet. If we ever get to a bigger city again, I'm definitely gonna look for some more CDs. For now, I just want to have a super quick chat about what I announced at the beginning of the month. So I, w I said I would do two videos a week during the month of December. You will have probably noticed that I didn't do that this week just because I very much realized that that is too much, even if I put less uh, effort into the editing and if I try to do more simple videos, it does just, it's too much. Um, so that really um, affirmed again that it's time for me to take a break as well, just so that I can kind of reconfigure what we're doing how I'm editing, um, also just have a break because <laughs> most people get a break from work <laughs> and even though uh, some might not might think this is not a job, it very much is a job and takes many many hours to work on this. So yeah, we need to take a break. So that's what we're doing. If you want to see what Frank is doing here or when he's digging, you'll have to come back in a couple weeks. In the meantime, you can watch one of these videos and I'll see you in the new year.